Yo, it's 2021. It is absolutely shameful the way women are treated in this country. Women need to be treated equally to men. In that regard, women deserve equal rights. And lefts. This video is in response to a poll I put out on the Jack Talk Facebook page. Every week I put out a poll discussing or talking about some type of controversial issue or topic and then follow it up with a video discussing said topic. If you want to get in on those polls, head over to the Jack Talk page on Facebook and click follow. That being said, I want to tell you guys a story all about how My life got turned upside down. Well, at least in regard to men hitting women. Growing up, as most people have, I was told by just about everyone around me that men simply do not hit women. The societal norm was it doesn't matter what a woman does or what she did, men do not hit women. That message came from everyone. Pastors, teachers, parents, books, TVs. Yeah, you just don't hit women. There was one exception in my life, though. My grandma did not believe that. Granny believed that if a woman puts herself in that position by hitting men, knowing what men are capable of in regard to their strength differences, she deserved to have her knocked in the dirt, as she would say. Now, considering this was the only person giving me this message as compared to everyone else in my life, I simply just ignored it. I figured I would never be put in a situation like that, and if a situation did occur where something like this was happening, I would be able to find a way to remove myself from that situation. When I was a sophomore in high school, my granny had enough and shipped me and my brother off to live with my dad. At this point, my brother and I were completely different people. I was that choir, theater, sports kid, while my brother was the hood kid. For example, he stares at people like crazy, but if you just don't happen to glance at him, that's possibly grounds for an ass whooping. Yeah, that type of person. At this point, my brother makes a friend. Uh, let's call him H. For a month or two, these two dudes were thick as thieves. At some point though, they weren't. I just remember my brother saying they were beefing. One day I had just got off work and my brother hits me up and he's like, hey, do you wanna come down to the park um, and we'll play some ball with some of our friends? And I was like, yeah, sounds cool. So I head down there, we're tossing the ball around, having a good time, just the basic stuff. At this point, we're in like the, the school's like playground field area. And if we looked across to the parking lot, we could see an orange Durango pull up. This is when H, the dude my brother was beefing with, and three of his people hop out of the car. One happens to be a girl. Basically what happens is they come over into the field area and they're looking uh, to try and get my brother to fight H. Remember, my brother is about that life, so it happens. And they start throwing hands. I'm going to let y'all know, I am not a fighter. Let me rephrase that. I avoid fights like the plague, but that doesn't mean I won't partake in a casual exchanging of hands now and then. So we're just standing there watching the fight in like a little semi-circle looking thing. The three of them cheering on H and me just standing there like, oh boy. While H was taller than my brother, I had seen my brother fight a lot. So my concern was my brother would drop H, they would need to join in, and then I would have to join in. That's essentially what happened. My brother throws a jab and a cross to which H leans back, giving my brother the opportunity to scoop his ass. Of course, when I see this, I'm filling up with pride. I'm like, yeah, my brother's putting in that work, bruh. After that though, it went fast. My brother gets on top and puts in about three solid hits. Next thing I hear is, oh, hell no. Now the two guys, H's friends, are jumping in or they're about to run into the fight. Now that I'm thinking about it, their appearances, the two guys, were kind of funny. One dude was a midget, excuse me, little person, or at least he was just really small. He had like a young man's body with a toddler's height. It was odd. While the other guy was fairly built, uh, probably one or two years removed from high school. Now, since it's a three on two fight, I let my brother take H and the midget, excuse me, little person, and I took the bigger guy. Remember, I actively avoid fights. Even though they jumped in on my brother's fight, I wasn't mad because that's just how it goes. You can't let your homie get beat up right in front of you. Now that I've got the big dude's attention, he starts throwing bombs at me. At this point, I still didn't see a reason to be upset or even fight back. I'm just smacking his hands down. You know how when someone throws a bomb or a really big punch and they miss or they whiff 
and they almost fall, and that's what happened. He throws a big bomb, I smack the outside of his hand, and he just stumbles right past me. It's at this point I hear, not my man, and then I feel a solid mm, right here to the jaw. I turn towards the hit to see where it came from, and I see that dude's girlfriend. Now I'm pissed. I wasn't mad at the dude because, I mean, it is what it is when your buddy's getting jacked up. But there was no reason for her to hit me. Especially considering I hadn't even thrown one jab at her, man. It's like all those messages in my head about men not hitting women were replaced with my grandma's message saying, knock her ass out. I was gonna try to knock her out of the Ugg boot she was wearing. But as I was about to blast her, I looked down and I saw that she was pregnant. Instantly, I snapped out of it. But it was that day that I realized that standard of men not hitting women for any reason doesn't fly. She knew exactly what was happening and still put herself in that position. And she did it while she was pregnant. That's mad stupid. Now, I would like to say I'm somewhere in the middle. While I don't think it's completely appropriate to wail off on women, I am not opposed to getting in close, picking her up, and just straight up yeeting her ass. Real talk, I guess it's just a case-by-case -case situation. I plan on telling my kids that it doesn't matter if you're a boy or girl, people shouldn't be putting their hands on anyone. It doesn't matter who you are, you don't put your hands on anyone. I will tell my son to especially avoid altercations with women, but if he needs to defend himself against a woman, use an appropriate tiered response.